Before there were band and dunes, before there was stream song, for Lynx Golf in the United States, there was only this hidden gem. Carved out of a sand quarry in North Carolina, with each hole being nothing like the last. More so, nothing like anything you ever or will ever play again. When you step out of your car, you're meted by a friendly bag staff and shown to the quaint cabin that is the pro shop. However, when you make your way to the first tee, you soon realize this, this is where the southern hospitality stops. Designer Mike Strance is famous in quoting, I don't care if people think my golf courses are too hard. And I can attest to that. This course is one of the most visually intimidating in the entire world. Long fescue and seemingly miles of waste bunkers line every fairway waiting for any slip and concentration. Unfortunately, Mike Strands passed away in 2005 at the age of 50 and was unable to see everything his masterpiece has become. However, it continues to provide golfers like myself countless memories and enjoyment. So if you're up for it, kick back, put your feet up, because this is golf in its purest form. This is Mike Strands' legacy. This is Tobacco Road. All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of From the Tips. Um, it's approximately 6.30 in the morning. More like 6.15. Um, I'm in Sanford, North Carolina. We're playing Tobacco Road today. Um, it's been on my bucket list for a while. Um, really looking forward to playing this one. A lot of history of this course. Um, it's not one of those long kind of championship style courses, um, but it is a great course, link style. Um, looking forward to playing it. So I'll see you guys there. Shot. All right, guys, we're off. Uh, might have pulled that a little bit, but man, what a first tee shot! This place is already amazing. I can already tell. You guys are in for a good one here. <laughs> it's completely blind. All right, completely blind shot there, but that was freaking really, really cool. Um, so. Hit a six iron there, just laid it up. I have the GPS app on my phone, so I think I laid it up to a good distance, probably will have 100 yards in. Um, but, man, this place is awesome. And by the way, as you guys can tell, I got my tripod fixed. I brought that into the hotel room yesterday. So, um, they see me walking out with the tripod, like, sticking out of my bag. Um, yeah, they probably got the wrong idea what was going on in there, but just fixing my tripod, guys. So I'm playing with Jamie. Jamie's over here. Blind third shot into this par five. He's gotta go up and over these bunkers over here. Sound like he struck it pretty well. Let's see where it ends up. All right at it. Great shot there. All right, we're putting. Just a dumb move there, honestly. Um, try to get a 50 degree underneath that tree. 100 yards. I should have just chipped like an eight iron or something. But it's all good. I heard 
to drop down, probably just in front of the bunker, green side. So a little chip and putt for par. Got tobacco roaded on number two. Chunked that other chip too, so ended up making double. Two over, going on to number three. You guys saw that tee shot. Um, what the starter said is pretty much um, even the par threes, they play longer um, than you would think. Long is typically always good here, which is unusual for this type of golf course. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be playing the number today. Good putt. Where not? At this.
I can see the very tip of it. Like right where my ball was going was right at the flag. Oh yeah, that might be really good. Oh. Great bars. Thank you. Great bars. There you go, great ball. This is just impossible. All the way down there. Keep coming, baby. Keep coming. Yeah, good one. Hey, Alright guys, let's look at this approach shot. You gotta go like in between these two valleys and the pins are sitting right in the middle. I only have like 90 yards, but that's a really, really cool shot. guys walking down I must have kicked pretty hard off this hill but look at that I know it I, I thought it was gonna be way left over here look at this freaking hole 158 yards downhill absolutely beautiful we're teeing up from right here so i don't think i can get an angle i'm just gonna do it from the side
got this left end. It's got to go up and over this little trap. And then the pin's kind of tucked right there behind that bush. And I'm going to be right up there, middle of the fairway. A little flippy wedge, boys. Right, guys so hit it long on that part three had a chip up and i two putted so that was a bogey um so dropped the shot there sorry i didn't get it on camera a little crisis uh ran out of storage so i'm filming on my phone right now um had to delete a couple things but we got it back and going now so we're all set going on to number 18. all right number 18 gotta go over the street over these dunes right here but then it's wide open once you get past it Good shot. Really good. Keep going. Go Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Great shot. Oh, that's a gimme par. <laughs> Great up and down. Thank you. Hi, right, Jamie. Great Brilliant. playing with you. Enjoyed it, An man. Absolute, that was absolute awesome. pleasure. That was yeah, awesome. That was a lot of fun. All right, guys. So just made it back to the car. Um, just what? What an amazing, amazing golf course that is. I mean, it's, I don't even think it's close. It's, it's by far my favorite golf course I've ever played. Um, I've never seen so many unique holes on a golf course. There's nothing cookie cutter about this at all. Every hole is completely different. Um, and I've never seen so many holes where you could easily make an eight, but you could also easily make a birdie and it's at the same hole it's it's ridiculous it's if you miss it in the wrong spots this golf course is going to punish you and it's going to make your life miserable but if you're hitting good shots it's very reasonable it's not super long um just an unbelievable experience so if you guys are in the north carolina area um don't want to pay 400 dollars to play pinehurst number two come here it's not cheap it's like about 150 dollars, but i mean money well spent i would come back again and again this is i'm not even kidding this is my favorite golf course i've ever played i'm so happy i decided to put this on the list and i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss out on any of my new videos until next time peace